This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the president and CEO of Magna Gold, the very, very busy Mr. Arturo Bonillas. Arturo, buenas tardes. How are you? Gerardo, muy buenas tardes. How are you? I am well. It's um, an exciting gold and silver market, to say the least. You have gold flirting with $2,000 again. Magna has been extremely busy. You've been very clear since you and I first met that the goal for Magna Gold is to become the next mid-tier producer from Mexico, and you're working hard at achieving that. You just had some news that, that was important, but I believe it's just to start. You announced the pre-feasibility study on the San Francisco mine. Can we go over some of those details? Yes, correct. It was uh, our uh, second pre-feasibility update. Uh, it was mandatory for us to be able to uh, provide guidance soon. And the report is, uh, is quite good. Um, I'm very excited about uh, all the work that uh, was put in. And the results uh, are, are very, very encouraging. Uh, we have published, uh, the, we already posted the pre feasibility study on CEDAR, and uh, the results are, uh, are very good. The uh, report shows a measured and indicated resource of uh, uh, 1.43 million ounces, and in addition to that, 170,000 ounces in the inferred. So uh, I, uh, it's about we have about 1.5 million ounces in the resource, and uh, the the resource was run at $1,500 gold for our estimates. And out of that, we have a mine plan for the next uh, uh, seven years and a half, almost eight years. And we are mining 756,000 ounces. And uh, we are producing 527,000 ounces over that period of approximately eight years. Uh, at a rate uh, between 2021 and 2028, of about close to 70,000 ounces uh, per year. Uh, now, I'd like to uh, uh, tell you that those numbers are the using the current uh, block model. Those numbers do not include all of the additional drilling that we've been carrying out uh, over the last two, two months. Uh, and uh, it, it is our base case, our conservative case. The the cash flows uh, show uh, on on that plan at 1950 gold and after tax a net present value of 231 million dollars U.S. using a five percent discount rate. And uh, the uh, next step here is uh, to finalize a a, a drill program, very aggressive drill program, so that by year's end, we will be able to update the pre-feasibility study again and uh, have a new business plan for the following years, where I hope we will be adding uh, at least a quarter of a million ounces uh, into that plan. And then uh, we may announce also as part of the, the business plan uh, a potential expansion to capacity. Hmm. Uh, and the it's a bit it's a bit early to talk about uh, investment numbers, uh, but the strategy here would be to uh, accelerate the extraction and production of, of the gold uh, that uh, we are uh, find we are discovering and adding to the to the resource. So that's in general terms where we're at. Uh, again, this plan is only for it's our base case, our conservative case. Uh, and uh, it's published. Uh, we also uh, we were also we also began production from the underground mine, and it's looking pretty good. So we just started this month uh, in September, and we prepared the mine in August. We started in September, and it's looking very very good. Uh, and that's that's also uh, part of the the production profile. Uh, that. Currently, the production plan shows the underground mine uh, only this year, 
but that will be extended. Hmm. Arturo, one question, and I, I know the answer, it's a rhetorical question, but I'll ask it anyway. All of the exploration that's going on and the exploration plans that you have for other projects, including an exciting silver project, La Pima, all of this is self-funded, correct? Yeah, well, the operations are self-funded. Uh, the San Francisco mine uh, turnaround is completely self-funded. And for the other exploration properties, we are using the money that we raised uh, in, uh, in June. And all of that money that was supposed to go to uh, the San Francisco mine startup uh, we are not uh, we're using it for uh, for uh, exploration. Uh, other areas, you know, we're, we're drilling La Pima. We began drilling La Pima last week. Uh, we'll, we'll continue drilling that silver property f uh, till the end of the year, also. And um, but again, it's important. We are um, uh, bootstrapped, bootstrapping uh, the operation quite successfully. So you plan, just to be clear, on optimizing the all-in sustaining cash cost of $1,204 per gold ounce, correct? Correct, yeah. There's two ways uh, that we're going to use to, uh, to reduce the cost. One is the addition of the underground mine. Uh, we have a, an M&I plus inferred resource uh, at the underground mine of 200,000 ounces. Of course, we have to drill off uh, uh, about half of them. And the underground mines' um, uh, production costs are um, about less than $700 an ounce. Hmm. So uh, that is one factor that brings down the, the cash cost. And also uh, by next year in, in our business plan, uh, we are uh, going to show reduction in costs by economies of scale, uh, by increasing capacity and by improving metallurgical recovery. So the, those are the two uh, manners of reducing the cost. Excellent. When can we anticipate assay results from the aggressive drilling that you're doing around the pit at La Pima? And I know you have plans for Mercedes and San Judas. You have a lot going on. Yes. Well, you. I, I would like to uh, complete the uh, all the drilling that we're doing because it's not about... Uh, uh, discovering one hole, it's uh, we we need to do at least fifty percent of the drilling and be able to announce this, and uh, and also uh, once we finish, we will have a new block model, and uh, and then we will announce that by by January February next year, uh, and uh, in the case of the other projects, uh, La Pima, we should be announcing results uh, in two months the initial results for the first phase of drilling. And uh, uh, the our Mercedes project in the Sierra Madre, our original uh, qualifying, trans qualifying uh, transaction uh, and a qualifying project, we are uh, moving very fast uh, to put it in production in Q1 of next year. Hmm. We, we're going to extract what we found up to this point without any further drilling. Um, that uh, is going to bring a considerable amount of cash to the company. Is there still exploration upside at that project that you can self-fund again from <laughs> what you've already found? Well, yes, no, that's, uh, you know, one, there's a lot of upside. We have a big land package there, and we are acquiring more, and the money that we generate there uh, will be ample to explore the entire area and probably acquire more properties in the region. Yes, it, it will be self-funded. <laughs> so just to summarize, Arturo, you have heap leach production, underground production, exploration around the pits, exploration at La Pima for high-grade silver. Uh, you're going to drill San Judas, and you want production from Mercedes and eventually San Judas? Oh, yes. San Judas <laughs> is very important. San Judas, it's in an exploration stage. We, we need to drill it. Uh, but again... Uh, we are also um, making sure that we're not stretching too much, too much, and uh, we are uh, reinforcing our organizational structure. Also, uh, we hired a VP Finance in Canada, a controller. Uh, we will soon have an investor relations corporate development uh, person in Canada, and here in Mexico, we are also uh, hiring or bringing back some of the people that worked with us before. Like we just uh, 
a couple of months ago, we hired a, an underground general manager who's uh, been doing a great job. And uh, also, we are expanding our uh, our ge- geologist uh, uh, team to be able to do all of this. And uh, so we are um, moving ahead uh, also carefully, uh, uh, gradually, but uh, sustainable as far as the human capital. And because you're not busy enough, you're still on the M&A trail. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, so that's... Uh, <laughs> Well, uh, you know, it, it's the moment to do all of that. It's it's uh, it's the window, and uh, as I said, uh, you know, I, I already I'm already delegating a lot of activities uh, in, in production, and uh, we have a country manager also uh, who who uh, began uh, last last uh, last month, and that country manager uh, was part of the company for the last uh, 12 years. <laughs> Uh, and he's taking care of every other uh, aspect of the operations and ma- uh, administration here, including uh, permitting uh, finance in Mexico, uh, public relations, um, administration, etc., cetera, uh, union. <laughs> uh, so, again, um, uh, it's important that I focus on growing the company. And uh, we have this new platform where we're producing uh, gold, but growing the company implies also that uh, we uh, do M&A. Arturo, a lot to like. I'm excited for the rest of the year. I'm really excited for 2021. I want to thank you for your time, and, and hopefully we can check back in with each other soon. Gerardo, thank you very much for this interview. and I appreciate uh, your work and, and spreading the word of what we're doing. is very important for us. Magna is one of my favorite resource speculations in the entire resource space right now and um, i think if, if if people really listen to this interview they'll they'll start understanding why if they don't already understand thank you arturo gerardo thank you very much muchas gracias buenas tardes con gusto de nada